Would you trust these robots to grow your salad? Well, if you live in Phoenix, Arizona, they may already. Operating like a Rubik cube, Apollo Farm is the world's first robotic vertical farm, and it's currently supplying Phoenix's whole food stores with fresh greens. Developed by tech company AutoStore, an agricultural tech startup 1.1, the modular vertical farm uses robotic movements to grow crops indoors. Its creators claim that the technology helps reduce water use by 95% and cuts the time needed to grow crops in half compared to greenhouse-ran fields. With no need for soil, plants in Apollo Farm grow from seed to harvest in just 15 days thanks to precision-controlled hydroponics, LED lighting, and robotic intelligence, while outdoor, controlled environment eliminates pesticide use. Here's how it works. The farm itself is designed to move like a Rubik's Cube. Each different block has its own color. In the farm, these blocks are called bins, and they house different plants. Using modular technology and wheels, robots move these bins around to help plants adjust their position and ensure that each individual crop receives the exact climate conditions, nutrients, and light it needs to grow. And the nutrients? The vertically raised plants don't need soil, as Apollo uses hydroponic growing systems. This means that the plants grow in the bins within a closed loop system where water is recirculated to reduce water consumption. On average, US food travels around 1500 miles before it reaches the table. From the farm, the food is usually shipped to distribution centers, which send it to supermarkets where it's bought by consumers. One way to reduce the length of this journey is to cut the journey between the farms and the distribution centers. Apollo grows its produce in the highest possible density, which enables farms to be built inside existing distribution centers. We've shown you similar initiatives in the past, like this subterranean vertical farm located 33 meters underground in an abandoned subway station in London. To significantly decrease its carbon footprint, the farm only supplies food to local shops and restaurants located in the neighborhoods above it. Apart from emissions, Apollo's automated process also optimizes labor. Look at what happens during the harvest time, for example. Once the plants are ready to pick, the mobile robots deliver each bin to the so-called port, the farm's single entry and exit point. The agriculture industry is currently facing serious challenges as the climate crisis increases the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events and makes weather patterns more and more unreliable. The UN estimates that around 70% of our fresh water supply goes to agricultural farming, while 40% of the world's farmland is now degraded, which means that extreme weather events, such as prolonged droughts, have made it impossible for food to grow. So yes, vertical farming can help cut the agriculture industry's carbon emissions and reduce its excessive water use, but it can do so much more. Because they're quickly deployable and not reliant on outdoor climate conditions, vertical farms can also bolster the resilience of communities suffering climate-related disasters, like long periods of drought. Do you know a vertical farming project near you? Or do you live in an area that could benefit from one? Let us know in the comments. And if you want more coverage on technology's role in addressing the challenges posed by the climate crisis, subscribe to our channel.